Hello, it's the Randy Duck and welcome back for another video. This time we're featuring the brand new Bulldog Light Tank, which comes with the season, the Ultimate Season Pass, uh, the T41E1. And my gosh, what a tank this is. I've, I'd put it out there and say that this is the best Tier 8 Light Tank in the game at the moment. Uh, just my opinion. It is so good. Uh, it has 10 shots, a 10 shot auto loader light tank uh, with 170 alpha per shot. So you've got a massive clip potential of 1,700. I mean, put that in perspective, you can you can clip out most of the tier 8 tanks um, in, you know, in, in your tier as a light tank. It is such a good tank. I'm not going to go too much into the, the full ins and outs of the details, but essentially you've got there a massive, massive clip potential. Um, and you've got good accuracy, good aim time, so you're pretty much aimed in for each shot you fire. And yeah, it's quick. You can get up to 70 kilometers an hour. It's very agile, turns on the spot very quickly. It is a, it's a fantastic light. It's got really good view range for a tier 8 light tank as well. So... That helps you quite a lot out spot things, although, you know, for, as a light tank, your camo isn't great, but it's still decent enough, you know, because you are a light tank. Uh, but combine that with your view range, you can out spot a few uh, tanks, which is brilliant. It's got 410 view range. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's a fantastic light. Literally, the only drawback to this tank is that the uh, standard penetration is under, only on the APCR, it's only 175. And then you've got your premium rounds, which is heat, which is only 210. So the penetration is low, um, but any higher than that, then it would just be completely unbalanced, you know. So you've got to have something. So that's pretty much it for the tank. Like I say, I'm going to do a brief overall of the, um, you know, what all the stats, because I'd rather show you in game of what it can do. And that's what I'm going to do for you today with these two replays. So thanks for listening to me rambling on. Let's move on and show you what the tank can do. Okay, so let's get on with the game. We are on Pilsen, which we can agree is probably not the best map for a light, but we make it work. We are top tier, which does help, obviously, and there is one fun police in the game. Um, I'm going to go to the right-hand side at the start of this game and see what we can do from there. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is a reload. I think with food, I get it down to like 22-something seconds, which... It's not a lot at all. When you think you've got a clip potential of 1,700, that is not a long time to wait. And you, it's not a tank where you feel like you're always on reload because you really don't because you're a light tank as well. So once you know, you're know you on reloading, you can move around to different locations, spot, and you're not useless while you're on your reload. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really suffer from that. So it's just fantastic damage dealer. So I'm trying to focus this other uh, new Bulldog because I know the danger of that tank. Uh, it's one of those ones where you're probably going to get full sent by a few and it's going to be annoying um, if you're in a lightly armoured tank. If you're in like a heavy tank, you just understand that it's only got 175 penetration. And, you know, if you think about that, if you angle your tank and you've got a reasonable armour, you're going to be able to bounce those shots. So it's not the end of the world if you get full sent one when you're in a sort of a heavily armoured tank. But if you're in something you have a lightly armoured tank, maybe the new Super Sherman, which is going to get in this uh, season pass, I'll probably do a review in that. That thing, it would be a right pain to get sent by this, because it'll pen every time and it can clip you out um, really easily. Uh, so yeah, that's something to be careful. But I've already picked up a thousand damage just at the start of the game. I was trying to put the pressure on this side and um, support my uh, medium going in, because he's going in there by himself. And I don't want to waste his hit points. While they're getting damage shots into him, I want to make sure I'm trying to get some shots in in return, basically. Um, we missed that shot, but and we managed to pull back in. We go for one on the century. Unfortunately, I bounce and eat one in return. Not a good trade there. Should have been a bit more careful, because it does have a 20% chance of fire in this tank. I've not been set on fire in the limited games I've played it yet, but I imagine it's going to happen at one point. Uh, trying to fall back a little bit here because I'm not enjoying that engagement one bit. I want to uh, create a little bit of distance between us so that I can get out of there if I need B. Um, and I just want to try and, yeah, it's, it's a little bit awkward. because Most of our teams are on the other side of the map at the moment. Um, and there's just too many 
tanks for me to deal with. That Centurion, if he goes hold down, would be a right pain for me to uh, handle because obviously it's got decent armor hold down and I'd really struggle with that tank in that scenario. Uh, this Again, the Bulldog, the second I get an opportunity to get tank shots into that, I'm going to take them because if I can get that ta tank out of the thing, that's one tank I don't have to worry about. I don't want to get caught out if I'm on reload and he full sends me because it'll kill me. Uh, because, you know, you are a Bulldog and although you're agile, you are quick, they're not the most hardest tanks to shoot. You know, they are quite big, quite fat, quite chunky. Um, and you can get hit on the move in these tanks. It's not like you're zooming around in a Vanguard. Um, I've got an opportunity. I see this TVP. I'm going to go for the track wheel if I get an opportunity because then I can potentially keep them permo tracked uh, and get a few shots in. Uh, I'm just chancing my shots at the moment because it's not going too well. It's gone down to 6 versus 10. You see, we keep going for the track. We're getting shots in there. He does, unfortunately, burn his repair kit. Uh, but we'll get a few shots into Sentry. Unfortunately, he slaps one in me in return, put me on to 600 hit points. I can no longer stay here, it feels, because although a lot of our team went the other side, they are losing. Um, and I think unless I do something about that, while we still have tanks to do something about, um, it's not going to go too well. Because while we still got those heavies over there, if they keep them distracted, I can sort of flank and spank and, and, and drop my clip when they're not looking, which is the ideal thing to do, especially when you're on a heavy map uh, like this. If I, I just let those heavies die for nothing, then I'm going to have no chance of bringing this game back. So this is what I mean. He's going in for our, uh, into our heavy tank over there. I come behind him, get a clip in. We see this AMX um, French heavy tank. We're going to pull back. We don't want him to full send us at the moment um, because, yeah, that would be not good for me. But he's doing the, the best thing for me, and he's pushing that heavy tank. Um, so I'm going to try and get as many shots in as I can. This AMX 5100, obviously that's an auto loader. I want to put him low. I could have done with another shot into him, making him a one, but he is a two shot to me. And all what's left in this two versus seven scenario now is this uh, poor Japanese heavy tank. And I have to make his hit points count because um, they're going to be going for him. You know, they think they've won this game. I need to make sure I'm helping them out. I shouldn't have took that shot because it wasn't going to hit. Um, I should have waited, but hopefully I've got enough um, shots to finish this uh, tank off anyway, which I do. i got one left. I was just having a look to see if I'd get any more shots in. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't sure I had one or two, and I wish it had a counter on at this point because I can't clip that guy. As you see there, um, I put one in. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but it's not a great situation to be in at the moment. And he puts me on a one shot. Had I had enough time to reload or didn't take the other chance he shot earlier, I would have got that shot in. But at the moment, I'm just trying to survive. You know, I'm a one shot to everything. I'm just trying to run, get out of there. Um, it's not looking likely for the win at the moment, but we're almost reloaded. These tanks are low health, but I can't eat a shot off of that um, check tank now, which is frustrating because if I could eat a shot, then I knew I could clip him out before dying. At the moment, I'm just going to have to hope to catch him off guard and try and get two shots into him. He comes down the corner, I panic, I thought for me he fluffed his shot, so I should I hopefully be able to kill him before he reloads, which I do. And now we've got the Centurion who's sitting in the cap at the moment, and we've got the TD, which is a turretless TD, and the Fun Police. So we're still in for a chance, or even though we're on a one shot, because I know the Centurion is not putting pressure on me, he's putting pressure in the cap, but for me at this scenario I've got one minute 30, so I've got an opportunity if I can kill this TD quickly to get back to him. Um, if he was coming for me, I probably, good chance I'd die because I'm a one shot. I can't fight two tanks like that in this sort of scenario. Um, I'd have to get my distance. TD comes around. I'm trying to get low to get out of his gun line at the moment uh, so I can get behind him. He does the best thing possible for me and full sends me. At this point, I know I've killed him unless I get shot by the artillery. There's, there's literally no way he's going to get away from my gun. Um, I've got two shots left in here. I could have put him into the artillery, but I wouldn't have killed him anyway. So I didn't think what know what that was going to achieve at the moment because I've got um, 40 seconds to get back for the cap. So that was my main concern. You know, that artillery's missed me now. Um, I'm going to have to just go back and ignore him. I can't wait. I haven't got time to wait and kill him and get the reset. And obviously I want to win the game. So I'm going to go back and try and, you know, see if we can get the reset. I just want one reset shot. Then I can turn around, kill the artillery, come back, and then it's just a one versus one. 
but I need to get this reset. We thankfully we outspotted Centurion. Now I should reverse back here. I should reverse back to get out on you know just not get spot and return. Unfortunately, although I aimed for the lower plate, I did have a shot. It must have gone too high. Um, and we don't get the reset. So now I've got one more opportunity, but we've only got three seconds on the shot, and I have I rush it because I didn't have the time. And that was kind of a devastating that we didn't get that because it would have been a two versus seven. If I would have got that reset, I'm pretty confident I would have won the game because I would have reset him, then I'd have all the time in the world to kill the artillery and come back from a better angle, a better approach to get that cap. Um, unfortunately, it is what it is, isn't it? Sometimes it goes for you, sometimes it doesn't. If that shot goes into the lower plate and we pen, Maybe I should have gone for the tracks, but that, that's what I needed. Um, there was an opportunity to hit the lower plate there, but RMG wasn't in my favour that game, and sometimes it goes in your favour, sometimes it doesn't. But nonetheless, it's a good game for a light tank on a bad map for a light tank. Uh, but we've got one more replay to, to come, uh, a bit more favourable to a light tank, and I'll see you there in a minute. Okay, so here we are for the second replay. This time we're on Sand River, which is a more favourable light tank map um it is a tier 10 lobby uh, but there is no fun police which to be honest is not your fun police when you're in the light it's not as bad as if you're in a heavy tank obviously obviously uh, but it's a tier 10 lobby we do unfortunately have five light tanks in this lobby which is a bit of a pain to be honest with you when you're playing a light tank you don't want to see lots of other light tanks it just makes your job out a little bit harder but we've got a favourable spawn of Sand River and we're going to see if we can get to an early position, catch anyone out and get some nice early damage in the clip. And we spot this Udez. Uh, this is the perfect situation to be in this tank with a, with a 10 shot autoloader. We get three shots in, the atomic then comes out in the open, we get another two shots in, putting us onto 800 uh, damage and then he gets behind the hard cover, so, uh, well soft cover. Um, but we're unable to get any shots in. I was hoping someone might shoot that train, but no one really is, so I'm going to put a few shots in. Uh, but then, yeah, I don't want to waste any more shots, so I'll go for a reload just in case I need need the shots. Because like I say, you don't have to wait that long um, for your reload, really. We do have a... We, we don't really have a lot of presence on the left-hand side of the map. I'm not overly concerned at this point, um, because if we can win the right hand side all what we do is swap over to the other side of the ridge and then we've just reversed ourselves and we've got you know good positions to get resets on the cap um, and it's not too much of a problem uh, but it could come to a bit of a concern if we don't win the right hand side quick enough but looking on the map you can see our light tanks pushing all the way around there so that doesn't seem to be a problem at the moment it's just this super conqueror in front of me which could cause us a bit of problems but we spot this conqueror out in the open we get a nice shot into the amarak so we go for it again he's repaired it so now he hasn't got a repair kit so we go for the amarak again and we blow him up three shots we took him out that's a really nice bit of you know your work there uh, but now we've got all these light tanks behind us this is where it's a little bit of a concern but i'm trying not to panic I know I need to kill this super conquer in front of me. Once I've done that, I've got free reign of the other side of the map. Uh, so we're waiting as long as we can to get the reload in. We've got to go now because I don't want to get shot um, in behind. Uh, we're going to go for the track wheel, try and track him in place so he can't turn on us. Fluff a few shots there, trying to hit the track. We finally get the track. Uh, and now we're just hoping to get our clip in. And just try and keep him uh, clipped if we can. We get one in there. Unfortunately, he doesn't track it. Second shot does, so we know he's stuck now. Um, and we're going to finish off, put, drop our left lot, last of our clip in, and then it gets shut down by our friendly heavy tank. It's still pretty close game though, but that's that killing that super conqueror again. You know, it's giving us a bit more freedom now because I can use this ridge from this side and just reverse the spawns basically. So now um, I can defend the base if I need to. But it looks like this light tank's out in the open. I'm full health. I'm happy to eat a shot, you know, for, in order to kill this tank if I need to, because I've got an opportunity to dump my clip in. I don't need to because it gets shut down by the Type 5 Heavy anyway. Um, and now I'm going to try and pay my attention, if I can, to the light tanks who have come out of the base uh, and try and get a few shots into them if, if possible. Uh, so we've got this French uh, Linux. Unfortunately, we missed our shot. We've got easy kill on the TVP at the moment because he's reversing back. So we are going to try and finish him off. 
Uh, I'm going to try and get a few shells of this light tank. So I can't clip it at the moment unless I go on a reload. So I'm hoping to put him lower health. So if he full sends me, maybe someone can get a shot into him. But as I approach, I've got an opportunity to get shots into the Project 66. I don't know if I'll get that opportunity again. So I am going to drop my remain of my clip and now try and run away from this light tank as I'm on a reload. Fortunately, he doesn't pay attention to me there. He pays attention to the medium which was shooting at him. So I'm going to use that opportunity to try and get out of there and get my reload off. But he's turned his attention to me, which is not ideal because I'm still not finished my reload. I break rack round. I've got enough hit points to take another shot, although I don't want to. Uh, we do take one there. And unfortunately, our bad shooting there actually makes us eat a shot, which we didn't need to eat. Uh, but we do actually manage to finish him off in the end, putting it back to a 6 versus 5. Um, and got close to 5k damage already with... with Quite a few tanks remaining, so at this point in the game, I'm thinking I could have a really good game here. You know, there's, there's a lot of damage uh, still out there, so we're going to see what we're going to do. I do want to be careful because eating that shot, I'm now one shot to pretty much all of the tier tens, and I don't want to die and then throw this game away. So I am going to play a little bit careful, try and you know now I've got the freedom of the map, do what light tanks do, uh, and try and abuse that sort of view range. So we've got this Pajetto 65, which hoping we're just going to lose our spot and we should be able to get a few shots into him. Now he's in the open, we've got the angle into him. We get one in, we get two in. Can we get another one in? Unfortunately, we missed that shot. So we go for the third, but it hits his track and doesn't damage him. Uh, we do manage to get one more shot in before we lose our spot, putting us on to 5,300 damage and 700 assistance. We've got the reload now. I don't, I think there's one light tank left and it's a Sheridan, but at this point of the game, I don't know what how many hit points he has now obviously I'd, I'd like it if he was low health because um that's a sort of tank where now i'm on a one shot if he gets wind of where i am he could just full send me if he's heavy you know if he's got hit points and take me out so i've got to be a little bit you know careful about it. so i'm trying to you know, see where the light tank is trying to get a bit of information off him i want to see his hit point pull so i can work out if i can go for the kill or not um, I'm trying to use the outskirts of the map just because, yeah, I want to, you know, I am a one shot. We've seen him there. Unfortunately, he, he's very healthy. And although I can clip him out, it's going to take too long for me to do that before we can put one shot in. Uh, so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful here because if I shoot him now and I get detected, he finds out where I am, he's just going to full send me and kill me uh, because the second he realises that I'm a one shot to him. If I was full health, I would have just gone in on him because I would have killed him before he would have killed me. And once I've got rid of that light tank, that's their vision gone. Um, and I should be able to then, hopefully, outspot everything, outmove everything else. Uh, but I'm kind of out of game for a bit, you know, quite a while now. That Sheridan's just killed an object 430, uh, putting this game back to a 4 versus 4. Uh, so I do, I do really want to kind of help my team. We're now losing, it's now 4 versus 3. Uh, that sh thankfully for me that Sheridan has been put down to a two shot to me now uh, and that does change things but I still need to be a little bit careful because like I say I am a one shot you know if I could if I could eat one shot off of him it would change matters but I can't so that is something I've got to be alert for of. so I am trying to play a little bit cagey uh, abuse my view range and just just be a little bit careful because I don't want to throw this game away uh, at the same time, I'm conscious that we're now in a one ver two versus three, and at this point in time, I'm not helping my heavy tank, uh, and I don't want to. I don't want it to be a one versus three because I'm not helping. So I want to try and get over and help him if I can. He is full health though, so yeah, that that is going to take a while for him to kill him. Uh, so I poke up here looking for that Sheridan. This is here is a mistake. Yeah, I've got 175 pen. I can't pen the side this Type 5. I don't know why I tried. Had I had heat shells in and he was flat on like that, I'd probably be able to pen him. But if he angled, I wouldn't. Um, and all what I've done now is given away my position to that light tank. So I'm going for a reload, trying to move the distance. Because I know, well, I, I suspect that the light tank's going to come and try and finish me off. So that's something I need to be careful with. And he is coming for me. He isn't a two-shot. But I can't let him get close without me getting a shot in. Otherwise, he's going to win the trade. Thankfully, I've got that shot in now. I've seen an opportunity to get the second in, and I'll kill him before he gets to come around that corner, uh, which is good. Otherwise, I could have been in trouble there if he would have hit his shot. But we're now back to a two versus one. It's that Pajetto 65, I, I believe, from uh, earlier. Um, I think he was reasonably low, like 600 hit points left. 
Uh, but again, you know, I am a one shot to him, so I, I do have to be careful. Although you, you'd like to think our full health 60p could finish it off, but he could get out spotted and all sorts of things could happen. You know, he could cap us out because he doesn't get back. So I don't want to throw myself away. Uh, I, just, I thought as I got spotted there, he's just going to full send me now, knowing where the 60p doesn't have a shot on him right now. I want my 60p to climb that ridge so that. If he does come over this ridge on me, he'll just get shut down by the covering fire the 60 TP. Uh, I've got undetected, so he doesn't know where I am. So I'm trying to go round to this ridge again and hoping that I'm creating a little bit of distance again. Because the good thing about this light tank, although it's not hard to hit, it is quick at least. So you can get out of you know there quickly. It'll go to Pajetto 65, you know, that it's no slug, but it is still yeah i don't want to let him catch up on me and at this point i kept thinking he was just going to come and kill me so i'm trying to just get out of the position like i said i've had a good game and i don't want to throw the game but physics here is causing me all sorts of concerns uh for a moment i thought i was going to fall off of that cliff and kill myself which would have been uh well not fun at the time but maybe funny after um and we're just trying to kill this yeah this budget now it's just one tank left to to kill i'm you know the 60 our 60 tp is obviously uh going in for him but the projector could be anywhere now to be honest because he is he is quick he's definitely quicker than a 60 tp I, I couldn't quite work out at this stage whether he ran for me and went down the one line back to where our base was or whether he's gone up on the the hill on the 89 and they're, they're the two places he could have gone um, so it's kind of just a guess of what, what way he's gone um, and at this point I'm just I'm just trying to find him really um, and I hope that hope that we outspot him and get a few shots in because it would be nice if we could get up to 6k damage in this game uh, we've got four minutes left in the clock we are gonna you know if I don't die um, I, I, don't, I don't think the 60tp is gonna die we're gonna we are probably gonna kill him uh, but like I say, at this point, I was just trying to find out where he went. If he went this way and he got undetected by now, we could have got all the way around the map. Um, so I'm kind of thinking, you know what, our heavy tank's going up to the hill. I'm going to go back up to the hill um, and see if I can, uh, yeah, just in case he is up there. Um, and then we'll be there together so we can catch him out on two different angles. Uh, and maybe while he's distracted by the heavy tank, I'll be able to get a few shots into him. Because if he has gone the other way, yeah, he could be anywhere by now. I don't know where he is. So I'm sort of driving up to here. I'm thinking, oh, the heavy tank probably would have spotted him by now. My proxy spotted him. But I thought, I'll just go up to the top just in case. And I'm thinking, oh, no, he's definitely going to, you know, I've not spotted him here. He's going to have proxy spotted him. So I'll go back and he must have gone the other way. And I'll try and find him. And just as I do that... <laughs> He didn't get proxy spotted, uh, and he was hiding up there. But thankfully, our, our 60p does get rid of him, and that brings us to the end of the replay and of the video. So we've got three kills, 5,500 damage, close to 700 assistance, ace tanker, high caliber. And I think this is a tank I'm going to play quite a bit, because I know I can probably get even bigger replays than that in this tank, because it's, it's going to be capable of some massive games, definitely going to be capable um, so I hope you enjoyed this replay anyway, and as always, thank you so much for watching, thanks for your support, and happy tanking. Enemy in sight!